So thank you for coming out. My name is Medea Benjamin with Peace Group Code Pink, and we're one of the organizers of today's activities. Just to tell you what we're going to be doing. First, we'll just talk a little about why we're here, what we're doing, this memorial for the shoes, and then we're going to go over here and build a little more playful, showing, throwing some shoes at uh, at George Bush. So um, we want to start out by telling you why we're here. Um, we came here for uh, several reasons. One is that in solidarity with the reporter, Mujidar al Zaidi, uh, we want to show our grief for all those who have died in the U.S. illegal invasion and occupation of Iraq. Uh, his symbolic act of growing a shoe got the whole world to revisit the issue of the, quote, success in Iraq. It's very hard to call it a success when over a million Iraqis have died, when over 4,000 of our soldiers have died, when there are about 5 million displaced Iraqis, when Iraqis don't even have basic necessities of life, when they don't have enough electricity, they don't have clean drinking water, their lives have been destroyed by this occupation and by the illegal acts of George Bush and his administration. We have in front of us the shoes here that symbolize the Iraqis who have died. And as we look at these shoes and the tags that are on them, they represent real people, children, women, innocent Iraqis whose lives were snuffed out because of the policies of this administration. So we want to pay tribute to all those who have died, express our grief over the actions of this government. And while we are delighted that there's a new administration coming in, we want George Bush to help be held accountable for his acts. It's not enough to throw a shoe at him. He needs to be hauled before a court of international justice and be charged for war crimes, just like Dick Cheney should be charged for war crimes and other high up members of this administration. So we are here to say that the reporter, Al Zaidi, who threw issue at George Bush, represents the sentiment of millions of people around this country, certainly in Iraq and around the world, who want to see justice served. We're very concerned about the fate of the reporter, Muqtadar Al Zaidi. We saw that he was beaten. We know that he is being held in detention and we want him to be released immediately without charges. Um, we wrote a letter and took it yesterday to the ambassador of Iraq, signed by groups all over this country, legal groups like the Center for Constitutional Rights, peace groups like United for Peace and Justice that represents 1,300 organizations around this country. Muqtadar al Zaidi is now a hero around the world. And George Bush is a war criminal. Muqtadar al Zaidi should be free, and George Bush should be in jail. I want to now introduce Jeffrey Millard, who represents a continually growing number of Iraq veterans against this war, a member of the group Iraq Veterans Against the War, also known as IBAW. Well, good morning. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that a journalist is facing eight years in prison for insulting, not assaulting, our president when our president walks free after having killed more than a million Iraqis, more than 4,000 U.S. service members, and faces absolutely no time in jail when a journalist who literally insulted, not assaulted, our president is facing eight years in jail. I served for 13 months in Iraq. And I think that if Bush ever walked into my talk, he'd have got more than a shoe thrown at him. Oh. I think that it's very telling that we have this response from the Iraqi people. The U.S. forces are sick of this war. The Iraqis are sick of this occupation. We want it brought to an end immediately. We want veterans to be taken care of when they get here. And we want reparations to be 
paid to the Iraqi people. Thank you. solidarity with the people of Iraq and the people around the world. We are here in horror and shame and embarrassment and a president and a vice president who openly commit these crimes, brazenly confess to them, and at a nation that has yet to rise up and say that'll be enough. This is a president whose constitutional duty is to faithfully execute the laws. My impression is that he saw the words faithfully executed, thought that meant to kill the laws in a fit of religious passion. This is a president who needs to be educated by the people of this country. And every time you enforce a law, every time you penalize the violation of a law, you are penalizing something that has happened in the past. So this nonsense about looking only forward is another name for throwing out the rule of law in this nation and around the world. And if this president pardons crimes that he himself authorized, it will be absolutely unprecedented. It will be to finish the rule of law and all pretense thereof. And our Congress is doing nothing. It's up to us, the American people, in solidarity with people around the world who are outraged, who are thrilled that a man had the courage and the decency to stand up. We applaud him and we condemn the actions of the people in the house behind us. Okay, George! Throw it! 